Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. A Sinvicta raid? This may be the fastest raid I think I've ever gotten in the history of streaming on Twitch television. I've literally been streaming for, I think, 17 seconds. And we've gotten a Sinvicta raid. Hello, Zero Doxy. What up, Mr. Fate? Welcome one. Welcome all. Hold on. I need to like. What up, comrade? Ready to see the Western Front? Yeah, this should be a U game. You love these type, these types of uh, historical type games. Mm -hmm. Hello, Tina. BMC with the 68 months. I'm here for the Depresso Espresso. Thank you, BMC. They have the 68 months. What a vapor space. What Dark R saying? What shopping cart for brain? <laughs> You dismissed yours? <laughs> Can you, uh, if you refresh, does it bring it back or is it just now that you get it? Dragon bullets, 10 months. Save the 10 months. Dragon bullets. Swing. Save the 10 months. Oh shit, is this not working? My key broken? There we go. Why oh, is that? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, there it is. Three months. Clap me, Crendor. You got it. One, two, three. Swing. They were the three months. <laughs> uh, Nick with the 49 months. Laud Vegas is back in the playoffs. Hey, my team is not. <laughs> Almost to the big five oh. Um yes, yeah, so I am sponsored for this stream. The Great War Western Front. Thank you to the Great War Western Front for sponsoring this stream. Uh if you want to check out this game, you can use exclamation point TGW. And you can click that link in the chat to check it out for yourself, or you can click the panel image below the stream to check it out for yourself as well. In fact, let me make sure it works. And it does, okay. I always like to make sure just so it doesn't like link to nothing or like an old game or I don't know. I don't know what can I add. Um, Let's see, I might turn the audio down a tiny bit. There we go. Uh, 10 jumping jacks is insane. I mean, yesterday I did five. So we're going all out today. So the Great War, Western Front, is a real-time strategy game based on the First World War. 
It is developed by Petroglyph Games and published by Frontier Foundry. And it releases March 30th. So today, uh, to the Epic Store and Steam. So you can check it out using that link in the chat. So let's see. I believe there's a tutorial. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. Here we go, tutorial. All right. Start the tutorial. After remaining neutral for several years, America is prodded into action by sunken ships and a disturbing telegram. May 1918. All right. Chapter 1. The Americans arrive. America remained neutral throughout most of World War I, supplying aid but not taking part in combat. However, Germany, Germany? Germany's increased attacks on American ships began to sway many in the government when the British revealed the Zimmerman telegram to the Americans in which Germany offered to return American territory to Mexico if they would become allies and attack the U.S. It was the last straw. Bah. I lied about my age and joined up when I was 17. Looking back, I was just a foolish boy looking for glory on the battlefield. The enemy had sunk our ships and tried to turn Mexico against us, and they had to pay. My got to pay. arrived in France in April of 1918. General Pershing organized our troops. My unit was assigned to a French contingent for training. And none of us had any experience with the new way of fighting. And the trench lines were a bit of a shock. Yo, all right, here we go. Hold on, let me just... There you go. All right. Bonjour, I am Lieutenant Colonel Andre Laurent. Welcome to France. I understand you're here to fight, but this is the Western Front. The trenches are no place for the inexperienced. Advisor overview. The top advisor box contains general information or story content, while the lower box contains specific how-to information. Also, I'm blocking something. I'm going to move up here. Here we go. Uh, Conscript reporting for duty. Thank you, thank you. Um, all right, here we go. We can zoom in. Got our map. We can zoom out. Let's see. Check. I didn't know it at the time, but Laurent had been in the battle of the Sami. Sami? Sam? Sami? You could see a kind of distance in his eyes, though he didn't let it show in his voice. Sam. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you can click the left or right arrows to review any previous dialog boxes. Tutorial will sometimes lock the camera. When it does, you'll see the camera symbol in the lower right corner of the screen. Uh, okay. Remember to click the check button to advance to the next step. This is the theater map, which depicts the Western Front, including regions in France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Germany. Each region shows the current controlling faction. All right. The map's divided into hexagonal areas called regions. All regions in the map begin under the control of either the Allied Nations or the Central Powers. Allied Nations regions hexes are highlighted in blue. Central Power region hexes are highlighted in red. I will be blunt. The Russian treaty with Germany has freed up near 50 divisions of German infantry to be transferred to the Western Front. Your men are needed to shore up the line push back against this new threat. Private. Uh, front line is where combat happens. Regions can only initiate attacks on adjacent hexes. As you capture or lose regions, front line will adjust position. Okay. Our civilians see this German spring offensive as something to worry about. A worrying civilian is one who does not support the war and begins doubting that we can win, even when talking about surrender. Victory. National will. National will represents the feelings of the home nations towards the war. How likely they are to enlist by war bonds or support the war effort in general. National will is one way to win the game. The first faction to push the enemy to zero national will wins. Damn. Just like life. When you run out of will, what do you got? Then you're just numb. Crawling in your skin. Wounds never heal. 
While this army can't worry about the feelings of civilians, the threat of new German manpower is not something to dismiss. If we are not vigilant, Germany could reach Paris. Uh-oh. Capitals, second way to win the game is to capture the region's faction's command HQ. For the Allies, it's in Paris. For the Central, it is in the Kruznach. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but Paris is still a long way from the front lines. We will never let Germany get close. You can move the map using WASD. These keys can be remapped in game. The arrow keys are holding the middle mouse button. You can use zoom. Uh, that's that. Got that. Got that. Perfect. Um, oh, am I supposed to click it? There we go. Germany can try to reach Paris, but we will never let them though. We will make sure that our American forces are trained to aid in the defense. Stars. Each region has defense rating measured in stars. When you attack a region, achieving a great victory removes one star. Once the final star is removed, the region becomes yours. One star regeneration per turn for owning factions for as long as combat occurs in the region. Uh, Paris is also central hub for new recruits and the manufacturing of munitions, including tanks and aircraft. Some regions have bonuses or features. For example, Paris has both the Command HQ bonus, which designates it as a win condition, and the deployment bonus. All new troops begin in this region. Here's the region bonus panel. Uh, oh, it's you hover over it. So Paris holds Western Front Command. Okay. And all French forces split. Oh, it's all French deployment. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, then we have our forces begin in Paris to be deployed to the front line. Once we get your organized your men, will be deployed in the same fashion. Units and companies. Military units can be moved on the map. Units can have different names, but act the same way. For example, an infantry corps and tank battalion are both units. Each unit contains a selection of smaller groups called a company type of company found in units are not always the same for example an infantry corps can contain multiple infantry or types of artillery french air wing french tank battalion french ah okay i got gotcha. you <laughs> intel is expecting a german assault french command request newly arrived americans be reinforced french force locate chateau thierry uh, it seems that this will be a trial by fire. I'd hope to save more for drills, but orders are orders. Prepare yourselves. Object, wait, objective events are optional requests to grant the reward if completed within the time limit. Objective events are, yes, okay. So what's this? Move three American infantry to Chateau Thierry and move two French tank battalions to Chateau Thierry. In the campaign, there's no penalty for failing to complete an objective event other than not receiving a reward. So yeah, they're just like secondary objectives, okay? Okay, our forces have been fighting bravely, but they have had little rest or peace for a long time. I'm sure your reinforcements are a welcome sight. You must achieve a victory or great victory level in combat to remove a star from a region. When a region's lost, any defenders will retreat in the nearest region. Some units such as a siege artillery cannot be moved in a retreat. We have designated the Le Muro region as a staging ground for the American forces. Any new American units will be in there. Remember that in each nation it has its own deployment region for bringing in troops and supplies, as shown in the bonuses section of the region selection pane. The deployment regions are Cruznach, Paris, Calais, Calais, and Le Muro. Select Le Moreau. Where am I? Le Moreau. Le... <laughs> Dude, am I blind? Oh, pff, I am. <laughs> mm hmm Our logistic people keep the unit types together for ease of reference. However, thoughtful distribution of force is necessary for victory. Splitting. Units are displayed on the map of stacks, four types, infantry, tanks, aircraft, siege. All present units are shown in the region pane. Left-clicking unit will add it to your units to move box, while right-clicking adds the entire stack. Clicking directly onto the unit stack on the world map will also select and add a whole stack. We have new orders. 
Ah. I gotcha. Okay. Oh, select three. <laughs> One, two, three. Our orders are clear. Move those infantry corps to Chateau Thierry to reinforce French troops already stationed there. Right click the auto move. move Whoop. All right. Well done. Infantry has filled in the defensive gaps as planned. We should take stock, see what else is needed at Chateau Thierry. You know, it's the same type stack on the map, even if they are different nationalities. Whichever nationality is the majority will appear on the top of the stack. Ah, okay. Despite the language barrier, our soldiers need to... Our soldiers seem to get along. Your soldiers will be tired from transfer, so they'll begin on defensive duty for now. Attack or move. Units can either move or attack once per turn. Units can defend whether they moved or attack, but if you initiate an attack, only those units that haven't moved can participate. Uh, you cannot attack from a single region more than once per turn. But you cannot attack from a single region more than once per turn. Okay. And they can either move or attack. So you have to do move or attack. Can't do both. It's like Blood Bowl. <laughs> and then... Uh, they can still defend. All right. I had a little French from high school, but learning a language in a classroom was a whole lot different than being surrounded by it. The common soldiers seemed to get on great, but the officers seemed frustrated. They would exchange information and coordinate attacks, but they wouldn't take orders from each other. Disun- Oh god, a word. Disun- Disunity? Oh, disunity. <laughs> it's not that big of a word. It's just the opposite of unity. Uh, mixing units from different nationalities in the same region can reduce morale. There are three groups, Britain, Canada, Australia, and India, forming group- one, France is group two, America's group three. If units from more than one group are in the same region, all units suffer a minor morale penalty. Belgium can stack groups one and two. Central powers not suffer from disunity of command. Pomme de Terre, Gazunheit. Uh, if you are ever unsure of your orders, remember to check your logbook. There it is. Move two French tank battalions there, okay. Thanks. We realize it'll take time for your heavy armaments to get across the Atlantic. For now, I've taken a library requisitioning of some of our tanks to use. Uh, you can select the entire stack or the blah, blah, blah. So we got tank. Oh, so I already took the two tanks. And then we just allied tanks divided into cannon mounted tanks, machine gun mounted tanks, each battalion. There we go. I did it. Excellent work. The additional forces should be more than enough to defend the area. Mm -hmm. Command has granted us gold reserves for completing your orders. Vital resource. Uh, gold reserves are used for purchases. You can buy stuff. Yep. French command believes a victory at Chatillon sur Marne. I feel like I'm pronouncing wine names. Um, probably because a lot of wine names are French. <laughs> French command believes a victory at Chateau sur Marne will pull German forces to that location and really relieve some of the pressure at Chateau Thierry. A good outcome here could also give the people back home positive news. Okay. Okay. So we got. Selecting a region displays a lot of info. For enemy regions, however, much of the info is hidden. You'll not be able to see the enemy's exact army comp or details. Initially. Uh, yes. So we got Montermal. Oh, here. Some of our best, best intel comes from spies. Our operatives can scout the information we need and relay it to command. Right now, we need more information about their military strength. Uh, espionage missions, license, spies. Okay, so we got army intel button. Here we go. Oh, okay. Success. Good. Now, region and army intel missions affect all enemy regions adjacent to where you activate the mission. Even if the enemy had counter intel active in one region, the others may still be affected. 
Our spies are reporting a large buildup of German troops. More than we thought about. Okay, so they've got some infantry, more infantry, and a tank battalion. All right. Um, active army intel allows you to see the exact unit count and type, while active region intel allows you to see the enemy structures and economic information. Numbers below the icon show how many turns the ability remains active for that region. Wait, where does it show that? Number below the icon. Oh, there it is. Three. Okay. This new information changes the plan. We will need to bolster our forces with the remaining American corpse in Le Moreau. If we want to exceed. Succeed. <laughs> Not exceed. Well, you could exceed. The number of forces. Remember that you can select the entire stack directly on the map or select. Okay. Attention. So I can just click that. And then move it to here. Moving. <laughs> We're moving. Uh, okay. Purchase. Yo, what up, Ryder Morgan? Let's see. We'll buy a French battalion tank. Those machines were amazing. Our boys were already coming up with new ways to use them that'll hopefully surprise the Germans. I think they always wanted to take them apart and see what made them tick. Also, I've given this guy like three voices, I think. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, then close. Requisition has come through. Our new tanks have been delivered. New stack of tank. Drive it over. I actually love the movement. It's just like... Uh, aircraft. It would be beneficial to have air support. While recon is essential, keeping enemy bombers and balloon busters away from our lines will allow us to concentrate on the trenches. Wait, what's a balloon buster? Is that like a Zeppelin... Is that like an anti-Zeppelin thing? <laughs> um. Whee! Where's old timey Jesse narration when you need him? Uh, technically in England. <laughs> I believe we have a sufficient force to fight. All right, here we go. Siege artillery are unique units that do not appear on the battlefield. Instead, they allow you siege bombardment in battles. They do not affect this unity or command. Any siege artillery is captured. Wait, still in a region when it is captured, be lost. Oh, okay. Uh, it was meant to take down observation balloons. Oh, that's, yeah, observation balloons. Okay. Dude, could you imagine being an observation balloon? <laughs> you just had to, like, go up in a like a hot air balloon or whatever, and you're just like, you're just like looking around. Literally, yeah, literally just a dude in a basket being like, it'd be kind of funny. I guess at the time it'd be kind of scary. Like you're just out there and you're like, ah, oh, there's a man in a balloon. He's like, but now seeing it, you're just like, <laughs> all right. Now that's like something like people do on like a TikTok date, you know, like let's go on a balloon. Just as we depend on spies to gain information, so does the enemy. To that end, we should set up counterintelligence to prevent them from learning about our offensive. Actually, not really a TikTok. That's more like an Instagram date. Counterintelligence is espionage. Okay, counterintelligence. The spies work quickly. By the end of the week, no less than three German agents were captured and interrogated. Unlike other espionage missions, counterintelligence does not suffer from risk. It always works, but loses duration when it succeeds. You've been using gold reserves to bolster our troops and add firepower. On the battlefield, however, supplies needed, not gold. A soldier without ammunition or bandages, a soldier cannot fight. Artillery or cannon, no shells, can't do any rock and roll. Supply is currency used during battle. Supply is used to build trenches and other defenses, to call in reinforcements and activate abilities. Made sense. Our pack contain our essentials, rounds of ammunition. Each unit on a strategic map grants a set amount of supply of the region as refresh for each battle. Regional supply. Wait, so each unit on the strategic map, with the exception of artillery, grants a set amount of supply of the region. Oh, okay. I see. They are filled with hydrogen. Balloon busters were pilots who specialize in taking them down. Like, so you would just like cruise around. <laughs> 
looking for balloons. That's actually such a like weird part of history. That was only that wasn't even that long ago. When you think about it, you know what I mean? Like what was that? Like a hundred years ago? So it's like <laughs> literally back then. 110, eh, give or take, right? You're full, you got some like guy in a hot air balloon being like, purr, purr, and then you got people flying around like, there he is. <laughs> now it's just like, you just have drones. <laughs> you literally just have like drones flying around and shit. Imagine back then, everyone's like, purr, and then there's just like a robot drone flying around. They'd be like, dude, it's aliens. Right, cat? That's aliens. No doubter. Air balloons for observation goes back as far as Napoleon in 1805. Oh my god. I didn't realize when was when was the the airplane flying the Wright brothers? <laughs> when was the airplane flying? This is the Wright brothers, yeah? When was when was that? Hold on, cat. Hey. That was 1904. So it was like a full hundred years before they had like just balloons flying around. Accidental pancakes just subscribe. Thank you, accidental pancakes. Fuck. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. How the heck do I do use my Prime sub now? Well, you have to attach your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and then you get a free Prime subscription <laughs> by using the link in the chat. Wow. Unless you mean you already have Prime and you're figured, trying to figure out how to use it through the actual website, which is probably what you're saying. Um. <laughs> Void nice. stepping with the seven months. They were the seven months. What the fuck is that? They were the seven months. Uh, supply depots allow you to pull from the global supply bank to supplement the supply from your units is one of the most important structures you can build. They're essential if you want to bring the full might of your army to bear against the enemy. Supply depot. Supply pipeline. Pipeline is the amount of supply that the region can draw from the global supply bank each battle. The region must have a supply depot to pull from the global bank. The amount is limited by size of the depot. <laughs> Alright, I just upgrade it. World War One is the Red Baron. Oh, okay. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> when I hear Red Baron, I think of two things. I think of Snoopy and I think of pizza. And that's it. And I don't think that's what people back then thought of Red Baron when they heard it, but that's all I think of now. Um, <laughs> Shitty pizza? Honestly, for like... For frozen pizza, I think it's okay. Especially like the mini ones. The little mini ones. Those are pretty solid mini frozen pizzas. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're alright. Like for what you're getting. Uh, There are six different structures available in the campaign. Each with own bonuses. All of them have multiple levels and increase in power as you upgrade. <laughs> Defensive battles. Weird to think that his actual biggest contribution was squad tactics, not him being a master. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I'd rather get Walmart brand pizza? Blech. No, thank you. <laughs> I would definitely not rather get Walmart brand. Uh, you could, uh, you know, to each their own. To each their own. Even if your opinion's wrong. You can take as many actions as you like during your turn. Once you haven't done everything you want to do, click the end turn button. The turn indicator will switch to the enemy and you'll be able to perform. Okay, end turn. Oh, Germans do not sleep. Or stay in thine. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, as the months passes, they go about their business more as we do. I was going to be like, wait, Germans don't sleep. That's not healthy. <laughs> the 
The enemy AI has the same available actions as you do. It'll move troops, purchase supply, plan attacks, research new tech. Your ability to see what the AI player is doing will depend on how much espionage or how you have used espionage missions. For the most part, you'll be able to see that the AI is doing something, but now what? Our spies caught the enemy spies attempt to gain intel. Bye, get them out of here. Hey, I will probe with espionage to see where you are weak. You can use this indication where attacks will happen. Oh, we're under attack. Yeah, I can attack your territories on its turn, which will put you on different defense or put you on the defensive. Each front will use a different map. Knowing what forces you and the enemy have before battle is key to planning an effective attack or defense strategy. You're always, blip, you're always able to see each side's to yeah, total morale and what you're bringing into the battle. You'll only be able to see the exactly what nice. the enemy's bringing if you have an active army espionage, which we do. Purple is teal with the 47 months. They were the 47 months. Purple is teal. Fuck. They have the 47 months. Purple is teal. Um, dude, my dad used to get all the tombstone pizzas. <laughs> so I have like a light nostalgia for it because I was, I remember growing up eating a tombstone pizza. I don't even know if they're good or not. What's the... There's, a, there's like a Chicago frozen pizza. It's actually pretty good. My thing is like most of the time, if I'm going to eat pizza, I'd rather just like order a pizza. I don't know. I'm also talking from like a person standpoint who has a terrible digestive system. And I'm like, listen, if I'm eating pizza, I'm eating a good one. And then I'm going down with the ship. You know what I mean? Ophelope, 30 months. Damn, that's almost a year. They were the 30 months. Ophelope. 30 honking oafs. Uh, Jackson Pizza? I've always heard Jax is like one of the shittiest ones. Domino? Hey, you know what? Out of all the fast food chains, I think Domino's the best. 100%. Pizza Hut is the worst. Little Caesars is like second worst. Papa John's is like, okay. <laughs> I think Domino's the best out of the chains. Um, are you from New York? No. I'm from Chicago. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I doing here? The deployment pane will show you a great deal of information about the upcoming battle, including the region. Who is the attacker and special modifiers? One of the most important things is available supply, which is broken down into corpse supply and your supply draw. Uh, remember that without a supply depot in the region, your supply will draw zero. If you find battles be difficult, try it. Okay. Uh, which, by the way, deep dish pizza? It's great. If people bash deep dish, they just haven't had a good deep dish, all right? Mm. They haven't had a good one. Um, the auto resolve likely outcome shows you the range of the wind level. Simulates battle based on the forces. It's auto resolve. Uh, the attacker must pay a supply cost to initiate a battle. A defense is free. The attacker always has the option to cancel an attack before it begins. The defender can concede a battle taking loss. I guess we're engaging. Here we go. Chicago deep dish or regular deep dish? I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> it really, it's more of a pizza casserole. All right, but like... Then again, what even is pizza, right? A pizza casserole is still pizza. Didn't Pizza Hut try to in deep dish? Probably. I wouldn't eat that one. Even then, there's like some bad deep dish plates. I don't even think, um, God, what's that one? Gino's East? Not great. Or Giordano's? Giordano's or Gino's East? One of those isn't that good. Lou Malnati's is top tier. I've heard Pequod's is good. That's a Chicago one. I haven't had that one, though. But I want to try it. Uh, but whenever I get deep dish, I just go Lou Malnati's because I'm just like, yeah. The one I forced TB to order was Lou Malnati's. 
but he got like the frozen one so it's like you know it's probably still good but like you, you gotta get the you gotta get the fresh right you gotta have them make it there and then they like cut it up into the thing and then you're like Ugh. all right here we go <laughs> oh what do we got here welcome to the front line i am adjutant chef garnier lieutenant colonel laurent has spoken highly of you americans and your ability to get things done this man's got a mustache uh, I got Lumal Nadis when I sell you and Jesse a couple years back is on point. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's the best one. I had to go to one of the Cox Grindors in Chicago. It's like, hey, you do. <laughs> you have to experience it. That and Portillo's. All battles begin in the pre-battle phase, which allows you to set up your trench lines and your initial troop placement before the start of the actual battle. Maps divided into three sections. Each faction is their own territory. Build deploy. I did the thing where I just read through that and then I didn't. Uh, all battles begin in the pre-battle phase, which allows you to set up your trench lines, initial troop place before the... Okay. Maps divided in three sections. Okay. Each faction is their home territory will deploy. Between them is no man's land. Okay. Oh, where nothing can be built. Yeah, this is the tutorial right now. <laughs> pizza ranch is all you can eat pizza buffet? That sounds terrible. Uh, feel free to look around. That's like... That sounds great when I was like seven years old. Um, feel free to look around and get your bearings. Battle suit be upon us. Get your familiar territory. Camera controls, battlefield are the same as they were before. Trenches. On your first time fighting in a specific location, the battle begin with a few pre placed trenches. Alright. You're free to use them or replace them as you see fit. Trenches you build will remain in place all future battles in that location unless they're destroyed or you lose control of these regions. Uh, objects such as weapon emplacements, artillery, batteries, and observation balloons do not persist between battles and will need to be rebuilt each time. We've automatically added a few for this battle to save some time. Uh, wait, objects such as weapon uh, do not persist between battles. Uh, oh, okay. <sighs> Our aerial recon patrols and spies have been working to bring us information on the German lines. We can't completely rely on information. Okay. Just like the player, the enemy trenches also persist between battles and can be updated during pre-battle phase. This means that your knowledge of the enemy lines from battle to battle can become outdated. Using scouts or observation balloons to view enemy lines. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. Control points are primary focus of the battle, with the goal being to secure as many as possible. Control points have a capture radius you can view by hovering your mouse over the flag. Yeehaw. Uh, only infantry can capture a control point, but the infantry can be in our... can be in or out of a trench when doing so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Command trenches are special control points that can only be captured by entering the trench itself. It's being near it will have no effect. Uh Oh. Infantry assigned to the command trench are completely immune to damage from the outside. In addition, the command trench is immune to siege artillery blasts. However, infantry stationed inside cannot fire at targets outside the trench. More. Uh Why is Twitch chat having issues <laughs> I mean it's always having issues uh, da, 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 da. building and deploying troops requires supply the total supply you have in battle is determined by the number of units and supply depot level in the region of the world map 25% of your total available supplies reserved for when the battle starts you always have some supply for artillery fire, uh, artillery fire and reinforcements in general trenches protect your infantry yes Firing trenches have three types, basic improved advance. All of them provide immunity to rifle, fire, and limited protection by artillery. Better the trench, more protection. Okay. Improved trench. Oh. Build an improved trench. I did it. Well, in placement mode, you can place many of the same objects as you want. When you're done, right-click the exit. You can build another improved trench. Hold on. 
Oh, I guess it just wants me to build another one. Uh, I can build it like up here. Or I can build it. Uh, if I build it like that. There we go. You can upgrade previously placed trenches by placing a higher level version on top of the existing one. Upgrade cost supply. Upgrade cost less supply than building than higher level. Okay. You can remove it by clicking the X button over the trench. Shalom and I live show in LA we went to. I think I only I think we only drank alcohol for like three days. Oh my god. <laughs> a turtle um, thank you big chief test pattern for continuing your gifted sub so I, thank you very much calm trench connect lines of firing trenches Connect two lines of firing trenches. You place comm trench and the line is connected to nothing lightly. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So I have to like connect it like this. And then like these. Blockhouse trenches can hold up to five infantry companies and make them immune to all incoming damage and visible enemies outside the bunker. Infantry station inside so cannot fire out and can be removed via melee combat using the stage attacks to take cover from bombardment. Okay. Uh, while trenches persist and form the backbone of good layout support, structures need to be placed every battle. Okay. Weapon emplacements. We got MG Nest. Heavy machine gun. The What do I do? Oh, I can put it like here. Maybe there. And then... Probably like here, I guess? I don't know. I don't know if I'd rather here or here. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. I guess I've already got two there, so maybe this one can be... Even this way? Sure. Uh, let's see. We got both machine guns and mortars have two versions. Standard and reinforced. Reinforcements have much higher health pool and are more resistant to artillery and grenade fire. This comes at a higher supply cost, so way the likelihood. Okay. Barbed wire slows inf enemy infantry that pass through it to a crawl, allowing you more time to fire at them. As enemies pass through, they damage the wire until it eventually will snap and be destroyed. Wires can also be destroyed by artillery fire, bombs, and crushed by tanks. Your infantry are immune to all the effects of your own barbed wire, but your tanks will crush it if they pass through. Razor wire is more deadly because of the barbed wire. It acts as exa exactly the same, but it additionally damages enemies to pass through it. And balloons are special objects to be raised to reveal a large area in the fog of war, allowing you to track enemy movement. Uh, raised balloons are vulnerable to aircraft, lower balloons uh, and their support truck be attacked from the ground. Okay. So we can... Place a balloon. Uh, balloons can reveal a large portion of the map, but it is an infinite. While they have low health, place them in a rear of your line. It means you can reveal mostly your own territory, which is not useful. Choose a position to be protected while pushing as far in enemy lines as possible. Okay. It's not too crazy, but also kind of crazy. If I had to pick a spot. Oh, wait, we already got one there. Let's say, uh, I don't know. Let's put it here. <laughs> Command caps limit how many units you can place on the battlefield at one time. In the campaign, number's 30, though it can change in other game modes, whether emplacements, balloons, and aircrafts do not really re reduce command cap. I'm liking the support aspect this game includes. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's got a lot of detail. 
If a unit uses command cap, it appears in the unit tray in the bottom center of the screen. Each company is represented by a portrait. Clicking the portrait will select the company while double clicking will select and center the camera on the company. So here's artillery. Artillery are special units that, while immobile, can use multiple abilities to fire across the battlefield. Visible in the unit tray make up command cap, very powerful, and they're more expensive than infantry. Heavy artillery has three abilities, precision barrage, poison gas, and the air burst shells. Thanks. First ability is available by default, while the latter two must be unlocked. Like machine guns, artillery batteries have an arc of fire. When placing them, you can see on the mini-map where the cannons can reach. The area is so large, or the area is large, so they can usually be placed in the mid to rear of your lines, as with trenches, you can move the mouse rotate battery place. Okay, so let's put them... Uh, let's put them up here, I guess. I put another one, like, over here. All right. <laughs> uh, Lizard Spherix with the six to three months. I remember you can't use the Prime sub on mobile, but hello once again, Grendor sub. Thank you very much. I don't know why you can't do it on mobile, but I don't know why. I guess Bezos doesn't want to give his money away on mobile. It's like. You can use it on mobile? There's a slider for it. Ah, okay. Uh, the troop deployment tab allows you to place infantry tanks onto the battlefield. Infantry forms the backbone of any successful defense. Okay. Troop deployment. I found the tutorial to the game a big, a bit long, but I played it 4 a.m. with barely any sleep. I mean, it's a little long, but I feel like it needs it for the amount of stuff you're doing. <laughs> I'd rather it be long and tell me everything I need to do than be like, this is how you do a thing, good luck, you know. Uh, infantry companies cost less supply to deploy in pre-battle, but they must be placed in the trenches. In addition, infantry placed during pre-battle may be subject to siege artillery barrages before the battle starts. Cheaper cost and starting advantage must be weighed against the risk. Uh... Okay, so yeah, you might get blown up, but for cheap. <laughs> Whoa! For the Allies faction, infantry companies have nationality bonus, for which grants unique modifier. You can see this modifier by selecting company, view it in the info pane or tooltip. These bonuses are something to consider when deploying and giving orders to your troops. German soldiers do not have nationality bonuses. Instead, Germany can use conscript infantry and other variations in their units. Okay, in the pre-battle phase, infantry can only be placed into the trenches. All right. As with other objects, click the infantry button under placement mode, you can place the company. Okay. Uh, why is it red though? Can I not put them in these trenches? Reporting for duty. Oh, I can. I don't know why that's red. It's a little weird. Uh, specialist units have smaller company sizes, but make up for it by having more health and morale than normal infantry. There are two types, raiders or grenadiers for Germans and flamethrowers or stormtroopers for Germans. Both are very good at clearing trenches through their method very, though, though their method varies. All right, let's place uh, some of these. For duty. Some of these. As with infantry, tanks cost less to place in the pre-battle phase. Unlike infantry, tanks can be placed anywhere in friendly territory. Oh, boy. Okay. Pre-battle bombardments available if you have siege artillery in the region. It's useful to clear enemy trenches to support your attacks, potentially destroy trenches themselves. Because of the high cost, random is fire. It's best to use when you, attacker, when you are the attacker and are planning a massive assault. Ah, okay. However... What if we're the defender and just want to blow shit up? 
How you spend your supply in pre-battle is a key element of a game. Any supply you do not spend in pre-battle will be added to the reserve once the battle starts. You must balance the need to have more defenses build in pre-battle versus the need for reinforcements, artillery, etc. Clicking begin battle, we'll transition to the battle phase. All placed objects are constructed. Follow pre-battle bombardments from each player if they were purchased. Ah, jeez. All right, here we go. Dude, that's me after playing League of Legends for like five hours. <laughs> and now we see that the abyss of history is deep enough to bury all the world. We feel that civilization is fragile as life. Yeah. We have received warning that the Germans will likely attack soon. Get your men in position. All right. I see you after straining your neck for the toilet. That's also very true. During the transition to the tactical battle phase, all the objects you place are built and troops you deployed will man the trenches. Normally the battle clock will begin counting down, but we have paused it for the tutorial and will automatically do so when the gameplay is resumed to give you the time to read and react. Uh, it includes any days of siege bombardment that were purchased in pre-battle for both players. Bombardments have a chance to destroy pre-placed brunches. The red central powers and blue allies bar at the top of the screen shows the combat potential for both sides related to each other, representing available units and supply for both sides. A longer bar indicates more available firepower than the opponent. As units are defeated and supplies spent, bars will deplete to show current values. Um, bu 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 bu. Wait, so when the bar depletes... Uh, longer bar indicates more available firepower than... Oh, uh, okay. I got you. Top bar is the victory level meter. It represents a range of potential victory levels from great loss to great victory. The pointer will adjust based on scores earned by both sides. Where the pointer rests is the victory level you would achieve if a ceasefire is agreed upon. Okay. Uh, so does that mean I would win then? Because it's more towards us. Near the top meter, you can find the current control point status. You can see who owns each point and if they are in the process of being captured. Not the, oh, maybe not in the tutorial? I don't know. You can click on the icons to focus the camera on a control point or click the flags. Click on the A icon to jump to control point. Whoop! Uh, shotguns. Uh, dude, what was that one game? Uh, actually... No, there's like a whole bunch of games, honestly, where you just like run through trenches with like shotguns and crazy stuff. And be like, ah! great times. Uh, every control point has a meter around the outside that shows the current owner and that's being contested. As long as each side is infantry present in the capture radius, the meter will not move. This means you must clear all enemy infantry to capture a point. Capture control point, move infantry company within the capture radius, blah, blah, blah. Each region control point influences an area of the map and the reinforcement locations linked to it. A control point that is lost can, uh, or contested cannot be reinforced from. Each region is tied to reinforcement points as shown on the minimap. Whoa, there they all are. Uh, if you capture an enemy control point that links to side reinforcement points, you can use those to reinforce your own troops. Top and bottom points can never be recaptured. Reinforcements cannot use point that's captured to contest the map. Bow. The supply cost of reinforcements is higher than deploying the same unit in pre-battle. Reinforcements are limited by the number of available uh, based on what was in the region. Available supply command, blah, blah, blah. Okay, infantry. Okay, so we place two more infantry. Let's see, where do I want these? I don't know, maybe one there. One there? Sure. I think I'm doing it. <laughs> Commands such as reinforcement, movement, ability usage can still be given while paused, but nothing will happen until play is resumed. You control the game speed. All right, play. Infantry companies default to column formation when called in. This is fast, but vulnerable formation. Skirmish formation is defensive, but slower to move. Watch your troops enter the map before continuing. Uh, 
Hey, there they are. What's up, gamers? We have new orders. Column formation. Uh. Wait. Skirmish formation. Company halt. Okay. Mm, units and structures like weapon emplacements can see across the battlefield, but only so far. Where they cannot see is called the fog of war. Yep. Click to raise, lower the balloon. Oh, raise the balloon. Raise the balloon. Mm -hmm. Wow, we can see. Okay. Remember, heavy artillery is good for damaging an enemy target. Since units can regain lost health and morale, sometimes useful on defense to weaken the enemy units before they attack. Units and tactical can be... Okay, select heavy artillery. Select precision barrage. Move it over some German infantry and left click. Alright. I guess we could hit their artillery. It said hit infantry. Maybe I should find some infantry specifically. Uh, I guess there's infantry like all in here. But I kind of want to hit their artillery. Oh, is this infantry? Oh, wait. Oh, are those all infantry? Oh, I see them. Wow, they got a lot of infantry. What the dingus? Oh, it's saying I don't have range. <laughs> I see. Here we are. Okay, so I can hit all these. Oh, yeah, I can hit, like, anything over here. Wow, they got a lot. Um, I'm just going to hit right... What if I hit, like, right here? You know what? I'm just going to take the easy route. I'm going to drop it directly on, like these watch your artillery fire before continuing oh oh, oh. yeah yeah <laughs> Woo nice can I fire another one? Fire again. And then fire again. And then... Again. And then... Again. Uh-oh. Now we're getting hit by artillery. Oh wait, but I'm also shooting them. <laughs> ah, jeez. Select a damage and low morale infantry unit. Low morale units do not suffer from damage reduction and will still follow orders, but they're Usefulness is limited since they are so close to breaking. Sometimes it's better to withdraw all Morelians to avoid additional casualties instead of letting them break. All right. We're withdrawing. We're withdrawing. Uh, observe infantry withdraw before continuing. You'll only be able to see enemy movement if you have units or balloons reveal an area. Observe the battlefield. They're moving. Normally, enemy units and trenches can't be seen moving unless you have infantry near their trench lines. Raised balloons can see into the trenches from much farther away due to their elevation. Enemies and bunkers are invisible unless you enter them with your own infantry. Uh, for safety speed, garrison infantry prefer moving through connected trenches over open ground. Select a raider via clicking on the enemy unit tray. Wait, I'll click on the unit tray. American Raider. Uh, the Historical Gamer with the host raid. Yo, thank you very much for the host raid, Historical Gamer. 
Thank you, thank you. Um, also, does American Raider sounds like a television show. <laughs> that straight up sounds like something on the, his, the, the History Channel. Like, coming up next, an American Raider. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it would be about, but it sounds like it'd be a show. Right-click on an allied open trench slot to move the Raiders. Oh, an allied open trench slot. Okay. Uh, wait. Stick it. Stick to your own trenches for now, as clicking on enemy trench will send your raiders in enemy territory and likely their deaths. <laughs> All right. So let's put them. I uh, know. Oh put them over here. Take the trench. Dumpster divers. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Followed by how it's made. Uh, isn't how it's made on science, sci-fi? I don't even know. At this point, they're all the same, dude. Discovery, sci-fi, yes, they all, they're all the same. <laughs> Watch the troop movement. Okay. Observe the battlefield. I'm observing. Oh, we're getting shot again. <laughs> oh jeez. What a banadano. It was Science Channel back in the day. Wait, was it? That would make sense. The term over the top refers to the act of leaving the trenches to attack the enemy through no man's land. This action caused a lot of casualties unless your infantry is supported by artillery fire, aircraft, or other abilities to distract enemy fire. <laughs> Weapon emplacements such as machine guns and mortars will automatically fire the closest target in range. You can manually choose targets for them by selecting the banner and right clicking the target. This is useful if you want to focus fire on enemy specials for your troops. Uh, okay. Depending on the size of the enemy attack, you need to decide if your units can stop the attack before it arrives, or if you need to support the defensive line with your artillery abilities that cause supply. Give him the bayonet. Boop, 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 boop. Doesn't sci-fi play shitty movies? Dude, all those channels just do so. Discovery Channel used to have the best shitty survival shows. And then all they did was they replaced it with like gold finders motorcycle men and like uh god what's the other one the only survival show they have now is like naked and afraid <laughs> yeah bare naked survival like anything where you're naked and surviving apparently crab people oh yeah the the crab people crab fishing crab fishing still going strong <laughs> Um, Storage Wars is, uh, Storage Wars is, what do you call it? A not AMC. Uh, I can't think of it. AM, A and E. Yeah, if you're not naked and surviving, what else are you doing? History Channel is Ancient Aliens. That's right. Uh, Alaskan Frontier. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just... I just, I always liked survival shows because I just enjoyed seeing different environments in the wilderness. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is cool. This is what it's like in the wilderness of this country. Or like, oh, this is crazy. Like you're in the jungle and then they have to survive. And you're like, wow, I don't even care that it was fake. Cause like, it was clearly obvious it was fake and a lot of it's staged, but like, I don't give a shit. It's TV, you know, like you still get to see some wacky shit going on. So, uh, I always enjoyed those, but then, the you know they start taking it a little overboard, so it's <laughs> uh, uh, they they've gone too far. Is what I'm saying. They've they've gone too far. Firing step. Firing trenches have two positions: the firing step and the reserve. The only firing step position can fire on incoming enemies. You can use the swap trench position button to swap companies between the positions. This is useful if, for example, you want your more damaging specialist infantry to take step when enemies counter enter close range. 
Direct your troops and use your artillery to stop the incoming attack. Remember to use artillery abilities. Click artillery and pursue. Okay. I'm ready. Here we go. All right. Barrage. All right. Do I have to like place it in front of them? Oh, yeah. We're hitting. Barrage. Yeah, watching the History Channel used to be like a fun time where you're like, wow, this is great. I get to like watch, you know, like real history and learn about stuff. And then they're like, but what if instead of that, <laughs> we had aliens, ancient aliens. And then what if instead of just history, we had like, I don't know, rain the mess gold finding show. Here's the thing with those gold shows. I like if it's a survival show, right? Like, okay, you know, they set up some stuff like, oh, it just so happened that he found a deer out in the wild along his path. Like, okay, so they planted the deer there for him to find and eat. Like, whatever. But then there's, like, the gold shows where it's like, <laughs> oh, man, I found uh, this, like, treasure down here. And then it's like, okay, so he finds the treasure and then... It's like, you can only find treasure so many times. I think that's what, like, what's that one? It's like the curse of Isle, something, Oak Island. The curse of Oak Island. They've been trying to get to that treasure for like 10 years, man. You're telling me in 2023, you can't get to that, that treasure? Like there become, there hits a point where it's like, all right, <laughs> come on. The, you can either get to the treasure you can't. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the default abilities for both light and heavy artillery disable the ability wait will disable the ability of all infantry and placement in the oh okay I got you um one of my roommates watches ancient aliens all the time <laughs> uh Oh yeah, Pawn Stars. I forgot Pawn Stars is on History Channel. At least Pawn Stars, you like learned something, I guess. But still, it was like it was the start of all those. They're the Uncle Rico of Treasure Hunters. Philly coach put me in. <laughs> That's very true. Whatever the mindset is, if anything of that significance would hit the news well before a TV show. Yeah, the thing is like, <laughs> I don't know. I just. If I'm going to watch shitty reality te television, you know what I mean? I want it to like, I don't know. I don't know what I want. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know what I want from shitty reality television. Mm. At least it's not TLC. Um, Like, I think all that's happened now with all these like different things going on is they've broken it down into what type of shitty reality television do you want? So it used to be like, oh, the science channel. Oh, the history channel, discovery channel, like the food network, like you had all these different things. And it was like, oh, wow, I can learn like how to cook. Like they used to actually have cooking shows and they'd be like, wow, this is how you cook a thing. Or like, wow, discovery channel, I'm discovering history. I'm learning history. Now it's just like food networks, like, Food Network reality things. Guy Fieri like spits in your food and then whoever makes the best food that Guy Fieri spit in wins. Or like Guy Fieri fucking sabotages your meal and then whoever figures out which one Guy Fieri sabotaged is the winner. Like it just... It just turns into that. Or then, you know, History Channel, it just slowly morphs into like not history. This guy... <laughs> <laughs> You know, Gordon Ramsay. Listen, if you can, Gordon Ramsay is like the LeBron James of reality television. You can just put Gordon Ramsay on any show and have him yell at anybody, and that show will just like be top tier. People will watch it because people just want to watch him yell at people. That's it. It does. It doesn't even have to be a cooking show at this point. It could be like Gordon Ramsay, just like. He actually had a show where he traveled around the the world. He had that one show. It's like Gordon Ramsay travels. I don't remember what it was called, but I remember he like went all over the country. But he didn't like he didn't yell at people in that one. Can you imagine he like goes to some other countries just yelling at everybody? So I don't know. You literally just 
Gordon Ramsay just does anything. I will say Gordon Ramsay's cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. Top tier. Great cranberry sauce. Um, click the French tag. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a roll. Uh, remember the units? Uh, uh, okay. Reinforce two French tanks. So I want to put them... Wait, can I... I want to move over here. Can I not move over here? I guess I'll just... Put them over here. Oh, now I can move. Uh... Pew, 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 pew. Uh, watch your tanks are in the map. Okay, they're coming in. Here come the tanks. Go tanks. They've arrived. Like all units, you can right click to move the tank. Hold down right click, drag set rotation. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the RTS type of thing. Which, by the way, I love RTS games, man. I wish they brought back more RTS games. I also love this is one of my favorite RTS type traits as well is uh when you keep clicking on a unit and it keeps being like it just it has the the phrase it says over and over again you know what I mean <laughs> oh yeah G4 ended up just becoming like 90% cops and the uh, ninja ninja warrior right it was just a bunch of ninja warrior show <laughs> <laughs> Every time. I for, was it was it called Ninja Warrior or was it Ninja something, right? Shoot those. Can I like artillery these? Uh, did you know the devs behind this game are the same devs who made Star Wars Empire at War years ago and they were founded from Westwood Studios? Oh, damn. I didn't know that at all. That's actually pretty sick. That's actually pretty wild. And these dispatch fighters and bomber... Bombers? Bombers. Have two missions each they can perform. Enemy fires threaten your balloons. It's up to you to decide if you want to lower them or not. Remember, the balloons are lowered. Race one, spin up Uh... Click the air support button. Available air support shows so many aircrafts currently available. Be sent on missions compared to the total you have in the region. The individual room. Blah, 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 blah. Click air superiority mission. All air missions give you a decal to select a target destination. The planes will fly this location before beginning the mission and pick up targets from that point beginning with the closest. If you are going after moving targets, place the decal over the areas you expect the enemy career. Ah, uh, okay. So do I want to place it where they're going to go for this specific thing? Um, dude, I'm so bad at tactics. <laughs> That's like my my thing. I'm so I love strategy games and yet I'm so bad at strategy. <laughs> I'm not even like bad. I'm just like av like <laughs> I'm like average at strategy. <laughs> Survive the final attack. All right, there we go. Nice, there we go. Game is 1914-1916 start points for the campaign. It covers the whole war. The tutorial starts in 1980. Oh, I see. Okay. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Uh, all right, back the tanks up. Back the tanks up. We don't need them out that far. Also, these guys, what? get back here. Get back here. Can I get him into the trenches or something? On the line. Okay. My tanks are kind of beat up, honestly. Alright, back it up, back it up. There we go. I just love firing the artillery, man. I'm gonna keep firing it. <laughs> I love artillery. Even in games like any strategy I, I bleh, any strategy game I play, I just I love artillery. Just catapults, anything that just throws rocks or ranged weapons, I'm I'm in. Oh, there we go. Do -do -do -do. 
The attacker has the option to cease fire at any time to end the battle and total the score. Defender can only surrender, which gives up your control points. Bub da bub. Germans request a ceasefire. Battle will end with current victory results. Battle will continue with Germans holding the ground. They don't even let you do it. <laughs> All right. Germans have stopped their assault and our troops are standing down. We win. Wahoo! Da, 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 da. And if you want to check out this game for yourself, you can click my link in the chat or the panel image below the stream. Wow! Uh, battles in this war won by inches, not by miles. The enemy has decided to cut his losses and end hostilities for now. Our forces have taken some damage. We can fight again another day. You know, it's always funny. It's like how, how much sports ties into like this type of strategy. Just like, you know, we won the game by inches, not by miles. <laughs> We're playing out there, really just competing. And you know, it's game of inches, right? You know, it's all, it's what the wars won in the trenches, the, the upfront battle and the offense and the defensive line. It's really battling it out out there. Good. Bring the new, new, new. Have you and Jesse considered try a Cox or Patreon? Something simple like single tier five dollars makes them ad free. Uh, honestly, something like that might be all right. I'd have to ask it. The problem is that <laughs> every time I uh, with the the old one. I guess if it was like an ad-free thing, it'd be alright. I don't know. I'd have to ask him about it. Uh, the brief screen gives you... The old one was terrible. <laughs> Primarily because... Jesse wasn't there to record a lot. <laughs> Uh, click the go world, go to the world map button to return to theater command or click the C. Okay. Wait, the return to the, oh, click the, oh, I see. But, uh, Jesse's also the old one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Woo, we win. Fantastic. I saw the other yeah, JG Wentworth. Honestly, I think it kind of was the JG Wentworth subconsciously. High casualty count can penalize the national will. Results of a battle, all regions that engage in combat will also suffer battle fatigue, which lowers infantry morale in the region until your next turn. You gotta go another interview tomorrow. Hey, thank you very much for watching, and good luck on your interview. Good luck, France. German forces are moving. Hopefully they have not grown wise to our plan and will move as expected. Like the player... The AI will move troops around on its turn. Without espionage, you will only be able to see the number of units moving, but not what is moving. Army intel espionage missions will reveal the true contents of their army. Like the player, each AI unit can move or attack in the same turn. Bring! Bring! June 1918. On the start of a new turn, you'll receive the advance of gold reserves and a new research point. These amounts can change over time, and with research, in addition, all your units' movements and attacks are limits. Oh, and limits are refreshed. Okay, everything's refreshed. Hard choices and research. <laughs> At the start of each turn, any damaged territories that were not involved in any sort of defensive action will recover a star. This means that once you take a star from enemy territory, you will need to attack that region at least once each turn to prevent stars from regenerating. 
Battle Fatigue regenerates at the beginning of your turn for regions. Enemy Battle Fatigue regenerates on the start of their turn. This means that you can attack a fatigued enemy region with fresh troops with the right planning. Of course, this also means that the enemy can do the same to you. Uh, hard choice events ask you to choose between two actions based on events from history. In most cases, both choices will have both positive and negative result. Decide what you want. Okay, so we got knowledge isn't free. Our scientists and engineers work around the clock to turn new discoveries into technology that we can bring to the battlefield. Some of these inventions could also potentially be used in civil markets. So we get... Uh... To research, 15 national will. To research, 800 gold. I think I already have a lot of gold. So I think I'd rather have this one. Press the civilian population or throw all new tech we have discovered, but we are burning through resources need to keep enemy spies away from truly dangerous data. Alright. Uh, research tree. Mamma mia, we can research. Um. Doo, 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 doo. Use the mouse zoom in or out. So we got infantry, intelligence, logistics, engineering, trench, and flight. You can see how many research points you have to spend. So we got three. Large numbers in the hex guns around the center show how many points you've spent in each branch. Uh, okay. Each node has its research point cost in the upper right corner of the icon. Initially, only six nodes around the corner will be available, but you can research any of those from the beginning of the campaign. As you purchase one node, any link node will be unlocked. Some nodes may have more than one prerequisite node that must be unlocked before you can purchase it. Okay. Uh, spend three points on death from below in the trench branch. What's that do? Unlocks the ability to perform an undermining attack in field commander battles. Set up and detonate massive explosion that destroys nearly anything in the area. Sick. <laughs> Apply. That sounds fun. Funny thing about Oak Island show, the TV series made them more money than any treasure they would have found. <laughs> it really is. The the treasure was the friends we made along the way, and the friends being the advertisers. Um It's also very fake, yes. <laughs> My grandpa used to love that show. He would be like, I still haven't found that Oak Island treasure. And I was like, I don't think they're ever going to find that treasure. <laughs> Can you imagine just like seven episodes in? They're like, hey, we found the treasure. That's it. They're just like, if we find this treasure, TV show's done. <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, you know, there's... now the water pipe broke to our water machine that we were going to use to get the treasure out. Now we got to go talk to old man Johnson. And then old man Johnson's like, I'll give you a water pipe for 45 nickels. And they're like, we only got 44 nickels. And they're like, hey, you got to get another nickel. And then they're like, all right. And they got to go find like old man Jimson. <laughs> and he's like, I'll give you a nickel if you head into the woods. And they're like, to the woods? Oh, well, no. And then it just like keeps going. And you're like, all right. <laughs> yeah, and then they're, he's like, you gotta find my treasure in the woods. And they're like, wait, we're already trying to find another treasure. We may as well find a different treasure. And then before you know it, you're like, where am I? <laughs> where am I? Um. Wait, select Sir Marn. Okay. When trying to capture enemy regions, try to attack the region from multiple fronts on the same turn. This can result in multiple star reductions, adds multiple levels of battle fatigue to the target region. Remember that each of your regions will also suffer a level of battle fatigue that the enemy can exploit. Okay. Select Cezanne. To attack enemy regions, select the region you wish to attack from, then right click. Alright, so we're attacking again. Uh, auto resolve. I guess because we have already attacked and weakened them. Stalemate. What? 
What? I was supposed to win. After a battle, both regions display battle fatigue and smoke and flames. Uh, next turn, it's all cleared. All right. Each time a region takes part in a battle, it gains a level of battle fatigue, which reduces the max morale for all infantry in the region. By attacking the same region from multiple directions, you can stack multiple levels of fatigue, making it easier to gain victory. Remember, however, that enemies can use this tactic against you, since all your regions that attacked also gain fatigue. Derek V with the 81 months. Whoa, happy birthday. Up it's a great one. Thank you, Derek V. Swing. They were the 81 months. Derek V. Uh, you can only convert gold reserves to supply five times per turn. Oh, I see. So you're just converting gold to supply. Certain research can increase the efficiency. Okay. Balancing your gold reserves and supplies is a vital skill. Overbuying supply can leave you bankrupt and too little supply can prevent you from fielding units. Okay. Select... Mon I thought it said monorail. Select the monorail. <laughs> uh, there we are. While defending enemy troops are the same, the direction from which you attack a region determines the map that is used. Monorail. 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 This is especially useful in Tai. Okay. Alright, here we go. They have battle fatigue. We have no battle fatigue. We're looking good. This should be an easy... Stalemate. <laughs> monorail, 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 mono, don't. Alright. <laughs> Remember that all tactical battles begin in pre-battle, which allows you to set up your trench lines, company placement, and defenses. You can also use the time to view layout of the map, including where your control points are located. If you fight multiple battles on the same front, the map and trench layout will persist from one battle to the next, as well as the battle scars or uh, you or the enemy create. When fighting as the attacker, your trench lines don't need to be as sophisticated, but making sure to build at least some defenses so the enemies cannot turn the tables. I do like that. I think that's really cool how, like, the map changes every time you battle. So, like, you know, it's, like, constantly evolving based on the battles that happen there. So it's very, like, realistic. While well, a great victory is needed to reduce the region's stars, sometimes achieving small victory is better in the long run. Even a minor victory will whittle down the enemy's national will, which is a step towards winning the campaign. Some pre-battle support elements are paced, placed even, or targeted in pre-battle, but are triggered once the battle starts. Siege bombardment and undermining are the primary examples of this. Undermining creates gigantic... Oh yeah, this is what we just put the points into. All right. All right, where do I want this at? Where do I want this? You can target anywhere on the enemy side of the map. You cannot target the explosion near the control points command trenches. You can only set one undermine explosion per battle. You can only accumulate three undermine craters per map. So I guess I would just put it here. I don't even know. That looks good. <laughs> Pre-battle bombardment. Uh. Wait, pre-battle bombardment fires siege artillery rounds at the entire enemy line. Blah, blah, blah. Bombardments are purchased in days. You are limited to two days for every siege artillery battery you have in the region. Okay. Siege bombardments occur during the transition phase between pre-battle and battle. Bombardment damage can destroy most objects on the battlefield. Bombardment also has negative morale modifier on enemy infantry. Okay. Remember that infantry companies must be placed in trenches pre-battle. All tanks be placed anywhere. And building balloons to scout enemy there. Artillery, battery. Blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, okay. Place some troops, support structures, and click check button to advance. Alright, so we got a balloon. Drop a balloon. Uh, let's place a couple machine guns up front. And field mortar. Uh, where do I want my field mortar? Yeah, this looks pretty good. And I feel like some flamethrowers here. And then maybe some standard infantry here. I don't think we need anything over here. Wait. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Mm. That should be good. Oh, wait. I need a lot more infantry. <laughs> uh, American infantry. Reinforcements ready. And throw some in there. And then... Maybe a couple more French infantry. You know what? Throw them over there. And there. And there. Uh, let's throw an American one in there. All right, sure. Okay. I think this is good. All right. Fight on and fly on to the last drop of blood and the last drop of fuel to the last beat of the heart. Baron Manfred von Richthofen, German flying ace. Das ist sehr gut, ja? Ja. Alright. Now. Oh god, I can't even see over there. Click to raise, lower the balloon. Oh. Alright, raise the balloon. Alright, we're seeing it. Nice. We're bombarding. Trenches offer a distinct defensive advantage. Especially when supported by weapon emplacement, barbed wire, and artillery. It's generally advisable to approach a position with twice the number of companies as the enemy has in that position. In addition, supporting an approach with artillery or tanks greatly increases your chance of success. Uh, bombardment. Okay. Targeted siege artillery strikes are available as long as you have siege artillery in the region. You for it. Okay. Like normal artillery, the shot is delayed much longer and easily avoided, so this should only be used for stationary targets such as emplacements or trenches. Ah, okay. While placed in pre-battle, undermined explosives don't automatically explode. You can use the detonate button to set them off at the right moment. Okay. Whoa! Absolutely dumpstered. Wir sprechen nur Deutsch in dieser chat. I, I mean, I did, uh, I did one of those apps where you like try to learn German, or just any language. But I tried to learn German, <laughs> so I know some things, but I don't know how to speak it. Uh, observe explosion. I did it. Click the air support tab. Bombing run mission. Click the call in your bombing run. Yes, bomb that point. I don't even know if I should have bombed that point or not. Whatever. You walk through the trenches and you prez, it's crazy. I mean, that would be pretty crazy, honestly. I'd want to walk through some trenches that weren't in, like, actual warfare. <laughs> well, used to be, but not currently. <laughs> Yeah, waha! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Neat. Let's see. So can I like maybe I save these? Actually, no. Hmm. Bomb that. Bomb that. I bomb. I just bomb these. Uh, and there. And. Probably just take them all out. Is that everything? Oh, then there's this one. Roger the line moves, but. Oh. So I guess I don't want to do those. It's literally just for whatever. Okay. We're good. We're good. Why are you bombing yourself? I'm not bombing myself. I'm down here. Whoops, I hit the mic. This is me. I'm bombing them. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, let's hit him again. Let's take out all the frontline stuff. There we go. Oh wait, am I on offense? <laughs> I'm on offense, aren't I? So I have to like go attack them. Oh yeah, I can take out their balloon. All right, hold on. Air support. Oh wait, did I already waste my air support? I think I did. <laughs> Aircraft. Oh, it's refueling. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm going to keep bombing this one. It's got 16 minutes. Okay, bomb that. Bomb these two still. Well, we're almost right. We can almost go do it again. Uh, da -da -da -da. I mean, they're pretty weak over there. What's that? I think that means they can't shoot or something. Oh, they're running away. Nice. One more. One more there. I think we'll be good. You know what? Double bomb. Double bomb it. Here we go. We almost got the air air support back. Alright, they're still their morale is at six percent. That is oh one percent morale. It is low. There they go, they're leaving. <laughs> All right, now we bomb the artillery. All right, then air support. Uh, we do that right here. And then after we do that, I think we can move up. All right, here they come. Get it. Get that balloon. Get what? Shoot the balloon. <laughs> oh, it's this dumb truck. Okay. <laughs> they could have just one bullet. We just needed one bullet, dude. That's all we needed. All right, just keep just keep bombing this one truck. <laughs> all right, one more. That should be enough to like lower. Uh... Oh, I thought it, it doesn't even have morale. Just kill it. And cool. All right, balloon down. 
Woo! Okay. So they have another one, but that's fine because I'm hitting this side anyway. So let's get... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't have any tanks. Let me get a couple tanks here. How far... Uh, can I, like, get them to go here? Okay. And then... Couple troops. Maybe bring some of these troops out here. <laughs> it took three batteries of artillery. <laughs> All right, so let's fire on this one. Super, super artillery bomb this one with literally everything we have. There we are. There we go. And then we're gonna start invading. I think I've probably used up a large portion of my ammo, but I really don't care because I love just doing artillery strikes. <laughs> All right, good. How are we looking? Oh, we're looking good. All right. In fact, you guys get out of there too. All right. Start moving up. I don't know if we can hit it from here. It's probably worth doing the sending in the tanks first. I mean, they're fast enough. They'll get there first anyway. This guy will go run over the... Oh, you're going to shoot it? Whatever, I'm just going to run it over. Oh, yeah. All right, coming in. Yeah. Woo! Nice, moving in. All right, let's keep going. Oh yeah, control point. So all we gotta do is go take this control point. Easy. Wait, are we just shooting a wall? We might be shooting a wall. All right, here we go. Clear the area to control. Okay, yep. Clear the area. All right, hold on. More artillery. 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 Go shoot. Going in. Oh, I'm using a lot of supplies. <laughs> Probably unnecessarily, but... Here we are. Actually, go shoot those. That's probably a bigger threat. All right, balloon down. Good. Nice. Germans request to surrender. I'd rather continue, but I can't. <laughs> Woo. Nice. We have pushed back the enemy and taken ground. These people back home will see this as success, which hopefully will press upon them the need to see this war through until we have achieved our final victory. Woo! <laughs> All right. Did you know, for the Allies, infantry companies from different nations have a unique bonus trait? Well, I sure didn't. But now I do. This guy's got a derby hat on. This guy's got a derby hat on. A lot of derby hats. Um, using a lot of supplies for no reason is what happened in World War One. That's true. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a great victory. Let's go. Chapter 7. Costs of Battle. When you take control of a new region, part of your forces from the attacking region are automatically moved into the new one to keep it defended, and the star levels return to one. All enemy forces retreat to a nearby friendly region except for siege artillery. Any siege artillery caught in a captured region are destroyed and must be replaced from the purchase menu. Select Chale <laughs> the region. Select Chateau sur Mar. Um, if there are existing structures in a captured region, those structures are taken over by the new owner, though you can research the ability to destroy them before the enemy can take them over. All newly captured regions regain one star immediately, and they will regain stars over time as long as they don't take part in a battle. Newly captured regions still gain the battle fatigue until the new owner's next turn. Yeehaw. Australians come with Vegemite and can force Germans to eat reduce their, their morale. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm half German, and then like a fourth Polish, and then a fourth, uh, just the Croatian. <laughs> That's what it is. So I'm very Eastern European, which is why I think I like beer and wine. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's all I got. If you still have questions about a topic or need a refresher, honestly, pretty much if you're in any part of the world, they like beer and wine. You can view the encyclopedia by clicking the button in the upper left. Click the encyclopedia button. Although, I don't know, some places probably like some certain things more than others. I mean, like Russia, Russia love, loves vodka, right? That's like their thing. It's like, it's like different styles of beer and wine. Really just different styles of alcohol, I guess. What region the weak gallbladder come from? Uh, I think that's the German Croatian half. I don't know which one. Canada loves maple syrup. <laughs> Click the close button. All right. Continuing the war. Now that you've completed the tutorial, you are ready to try out different game modes and experience new challenges. Click the check button to view video. Video? Hold on, I gotta pee before I view this video. Hold on. <laughs> Be right back real quick.
All right. Uh, we don't love maple syrup. We bathe our kids in it when baptizing. What the shit. Um. All right. In the end, I still don't know exactly the reasons why the Great War started, or what it was intended to accomplish, but I do know what the results were. Four empires that crumbled into history, and a bunch of changed borders. Those changes couldn't wipe away the hard feelings that simmered after the war ended. I decided to continue my military career and eventually earned the rank of captain. Perhaps not the smartest move, as those hard feelings boiled over into another world war only a little over 20 years later. Wahoo! You've completed the tutorial. You have knowledge you need to play the full campaign or experience a historical battle. However, if you like, you can continue the tutorial a few more turns. I just don't experience a different game mode. I kind of see a different game mode. Let's see. So they have historic battles, skirmish campaign. What's historic battles? Second battle of Yprez. Second battle of Champagne. Battle of Verdun. Battle of Somme. Second battle of Passchendaele. The Battle of Cantigny. Hmm. Control point C. Old control. Control point X. This one looks pretty wild. Hold on, what else was there? What is skirmish? Is that just like you make your own battle then? Ah, yeah, okay. Wooden ruin, undermine, dead woods, dead woods balance, rural woodland, river and fields. Ridgeline, pastoral farmland, hills of green, fortified hills, fortified hills, crossroad town. So you can like make your own. And then campaign, you have the choice of, what was it? Allied nations or central powers. Which is pretty neat. You can play either one. I want to do a historic battle. Let's see. <laughs> I love this music. <laughs> what is this? Difficulty. I'm going to do trainee. <laughs> <sighs> um, what is this? So is this he plays the Germans? Kill 100 French infantry companies. Bonus, lose less than 10 infantry. Hold control, control point X and Z. And then Verdun. Capture control point C. I mean, this seems... That seems like an easy one, right? You're right down here. You just gotta go get seats right there, right? Ah, oh no, champagne or Verdun? Champagne or Verdun, chat? <laughs> if we win the battle of champagne, we might get champagne. That's possible. Okay. Hey, you know what? Let's go champagne. <laughs> Second battle of champagne was an attempt by the French to use overwhelming manpower to push the Germans out of France, outnumbering the Germans three to one. The French opened with a withering four-day barrage of heavy, ar heavy artillery. They believed the barrage would weaken the German army enough that the French could easily overrun their trenches. Rather than being demoralized over, the Germans weathered the attack in their bunkers and then raced their positions once it ended, meeting the charged French with ha a hail of gunfire and a tremendous web of barbed wire. The expected French glorious victory became anything but. <laughs> Oh, 
On September 25, 1915, 20 divisions of French troops from the Central Army Group were sent against six entrenched divisions of German soldiers along a 10-mile front in the Champagne Ardennes region of France. Champagne? The German forces what? were outgunned and out Champagne. to one, and France planned to use a win in the region as a rallying cry to their forces back home. The battle initially went very well for France, as their armies punched several holes in the German lines after softening up the enemy with artillery fire. However, as the afternoon wore on, heavy rain began to fall, and ammunition for the barrages began to fall short. In many cases, okay, you had to have lost your hearing after the a while there, right? They found the trenches empty. German forces used the artillery barrages to predict where the attacks would come. They hid behind bunkers during artillery fire, then emerged to repel infantry once the barrage ended. In this way, because you can't just be like, oh, "Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I closed my ears." <laughs> French outnumbers three to one, but our defensive tactics are superior. We must prevent the enemy from capturing control point. Why? Okay. Uh, all right so got our stuff there okay everything's looking good can i get some artillery strike early on yeah, i guess i can't do it yet. all right everything's looking good Okay. Be good. All blood runs red. Phrase painted on the side of the plane flown by Eugene Bullard of African American boxing champion and pilot in the French Armed Forces. Doesn't Boone have messed up ears from his time in the army? That wouldn't surprise me if he did, yeah. Probably messed up knees. Alright. Racing balloons to scout for incoming attacks. Permanent tie I Oh yeah, that's gotta be awful. Just the constant ringing. Balloon up, balloon up. What do we got? The French armies began their assault. Defend the middle. Alright. Alright, here they come. Fire! D thousand diving <laughs> driving. There we go. Good hits. Good hits coming in. Okay. All right. They're trying to hit us. All right. We use those when they get closer. Cat. What are we doing? What are we looking at? The great cat war. Dude, cats probably have had like crazy wars. You know what I mean? All right, we're looking good. Oh, they're getting absolutely slam dunked over here. All right, fire into there. Looking good. All right, we almost got recharged artillery. They're making their way downtown, walking fast. They're homebound. Let's go, let's go. Refresh, refresh. They got more coming in? I don't think so. Uh, I'll save the artillery. I think these guys are just roasted. Blockhouses offer the best protection possible, but your infantry cannot attack when inside one. Hmm. 
from the sides. Where's the block houses? Is that a block house? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Oh, there it is. Oh, this, this is probably the block house. Hence the block. Uh, here we go. Let's fire into that. And then maybe some, uh, Gatling gun firing right there. It was a Gatling gun, right? Looks like one. Fire, fire, fire. Don't let them hit the balloon, not the balloon. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. All right, more coming in. Right there. Bam, bam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Puthius with the 61 months. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Puthius, for the 61 months. That's why. They were 61 months. All right, let's give them the old. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> they already surrendered. Okay, we're good. We're good. Keep firing. Keep firing. Everything's looking strong. See, is anyone in the blockhouses over here? Let's see. Oh, they're coming up the middle again. Right up the gut. Fire, fire. Corrections have allowed us to bring more men and supply with the deployment zone. Let's go. Pew, pew. Citizen Quinn with the three years. Oh my god. Put some Chrono Nerd Zippers while he's mummies. Pop, pop, and a cop, pop, 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 pops in the chat for Citizen Quinn. Three years. Six. Swing. They were the three. Years. Yeah, somebody up here. And then maybe up there as well. What if we just bomb maybe these infantry right here? Because they're probably going to run at us at some point. Or maybe these. Sure, why not? German Grenadiers. Air support. Oh yeah, I have air support. I don't think they have any missile or no, any uh who's a what's it though. Bomber squad to hunt down strafe, enemy infantry on open ground. They can also fire an infantry in basic trenches. Yo, what about right here? Uh oh, we're kinda getting roasted there. Oh, here it comes. Drop bomb. Drop it. Drop it. All right. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> All right. Drop it. Oh, I think he's literally just like shooting everything. <laughs> Never mind. Enemy fighters. Get back. Get back. Balloon's going down. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Uh. Oh, God. 
Where's our bomber? Did our bomber get back? Maybe it did. Oh, wait. Should I have raised that with fighters out? Probably not. Oh, no, there it is! <laughs> ah, jeez. <laughs> right now! You are dangerously close to overspending your supply in this defense. <laughs> the battle will continue. Alright, so we can't use any more artillery. <laughs> no more artillery. That's fine. We have one Okay, we got one supply left. We're good. We're fine. We don't even need any more artillery or... Oh, okay. We're getting additional supply and reserve. There we go. Dude, that would be me as a dread. They're just like, sir, it appears we've used up all our resources. I'm like, use more. Use them all. <laughs> this is a minor battle. We don't really need to use this many resources for victory in this situation. Use them all. <laughs> all right, here we go. Very nice. Gun them down. I mean, we're at 45 out of 100. We're getting there. Um. Take out that balloon. I want a balloon busting mission right now. Okay. I mean, this is all... Uh, this is a tactical one. I know we just said we weren't supposed to use more supply, but we just got a nice fresh uh, supply of supply in, you know? Look at that. Oh, we got more supply. Let's go. And now we can bomb right there. Beautiful. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they don't want to lose their precious balloon. <laughs> Alright, apparently this is doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, get it out of there! Never mind, it's gone. Let's go. Stupid ass balloon. Let's go. Alright. Alright, this one's only six. So let's do this. Get some firing in. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Perfect. And right there. Uh-oh, they're getting close. Don't let them in. Don't let them in! Get them out of here! They're trying to get at our things! Banging at them! Get them out of here! <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Artillery ourselves. Go, go, go! Uh-oh, I was dropping some frames there. That's why I was skipping a bit. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get a bomber in. Are these reinforcements? All right, there we go. Oh, we're going to hit up the middle. Okay, never mind. They're like... Getting destroyed in the middle. We're fine. Okay, 62 out of 100. Slowly but surely, we're taking them out. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're holding We're holding up here. Yeah, for some reason, I randomly started dropping a couple frames here and there, but... Nothing too bad, just a little bit. Uh, okay, air support. So we got that. We got the troops. 
We still got we got we still got a decent amount of supply here. I think these will get killed. Dude, 69. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't want artillery if it's just one little pack. Like, they're going to die. Oh, maybe this balloon? And then send them on a balloon busting mission. Take that balloon out. They'll have no vision. No vision. Doing way better than anyone else I've seen play this. Dude, I'm just saying, I'm kind of a master commander. All right, perfect. That's what they always call me, Master Commander Door. All right, drop bombs on them. Dude, they don't even know. Look at the French. They don't even know what they're doing. They're running around like ants. Running around like ants. All right, drop the artillery right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, a little early. <laughs> Not quite as perfect. Still all right. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. They're coming in. All right. We're in. A, okay. We got artillery coming in right here. This is a big one. We need this. Fire right there. And then right there. Perfect. All right. We're at 73 killed out of 100. 74. Let's go. Let's go. Right there. They're still coming. They don't stop coming back to the... Uh, hit the ground running. <laughs> All right, artillery again. Brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. Yes, additional supply. Let's go. Beautiful. What do we got? We're good. Oh, they're coming in hot over here, too. Hit it. Nice, nice, nice. 92 out of 100. We're rolling now. Dude, could, remember earlier when the game was like, uh, you know what? You're running low on supplies. Do you want to give up? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> All right. I would, look at that. I would have just lost. I would have given up like a baby. Here we go. Perfect. Still going, still going strong here. 97. Fire again, the artillery. 98. He <laughs> used a week's worth of supply in days. <laughs> Boom. So now all that matters is winning. Keep firing. More suppression. Yeah! Gold medal victory. <laughs> Hold the points. I, I lost less than 10. Unbelievable amazing gold medal victory you'll love to see it Hold now was i playing on the attack. second easiest difficulty yes does that matter french warfare i like to think not germany to hold the line against overwhelming odds in his memoirs chief of the german general staff eric von falkenheim said the lessons to be deduced yeah it wasn't the, the easiest <laughs> mass attacks are decisive against any imitation of their battle methods Attempts at a mass breakthrough, even with the extreme accumulation of man and material, 
cannot be regarded as holding out the prospects of success. Throughout the battle, France suffered over 143,000 casualties. Mamma mia. Germany suffered 141,000. Mamma mia. France did not get the morale boosting win that they hoped for, with virtually no ground gained. Neither did Germany see a decisive victory, though they did revise many of their tactics based on this battle. In the end, the only true winner in the conflict was barbed wire. Woo! Barbed wire! Capable of stopping an advancing army on foot. Let's go, barbed wire! Big W victory for barbed wire out there. <laughs> What an unbelievable win for barbed wire. Do you say, see the way it shredded everybody? It didn't care about nationality, race. Barbed wire was out there to win and it sure did. Um, that's a lot of casualties. <laughs> uh, well, if you want to check out the Great War Western Warfront for yourself, exclamation point TGW in the chat. And you can click that link and check it out for yourself. It's on Steam. It's on the Epic Store. You can check out uh, the panel image below the stream. That will also take you there. Uh, there it is right there. Check it out for yourself. Uh, thank you to the Great War Western Front for sponsoring this stream. Uh, this was sponsored, yes. And honestly, really fun game. Why did that work? I don't actually think it worked. I think it just timed. It's supposed to go off every 15 minutes. I think it just happened to you typed it and then it hit 15 minutes and it posted in the chat. It was just really coincidental timing. <laughs> um, it actually launched today. Uh, and it was uh, developed by Petroglyph Games and published by Frontier Foundry. And it's an RTS game based on the First World War. But if you've been watching me play, you've probably seen all that for yourself. So if you really like those types of games, historic games, RTS games, you'll probably love this one a lot. Check it out. Click that link in the chat. Uh... Looks decent wishlisted on Steam. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's, it's a pretty solid game. I had fun. I had fun using all my supplies up in a matter of minutes. Uh, all right, let's... I'm going to do a couple Kaizo runs just because... You know, just a, a couple pulls on the old Pokemon slot machine. Why not? Why not? Here we are. Uh, what the shit happened in OBS? I can't even change the stream thing over here. All right. Uh, guys, oh, late night, guys, oh, Iron Man. Probably won't go for very long, but, you know, just a couple. Just, just a couple. Let me fire up the old Banjo-Kazooie music here. Hold on. Perfect. <laughs> oh, hold on. I need to fire up my Game Boy modification hold please there it is If you want to pick the Pokeball, Twitch Prime, drop 500 bits, gift a sub, do something. If not, I'm going to roll this dice and see where it lands on. <laughs> dice roll to six. So the dice says right, but you can go against the dice right now. 
I'll give you 15 seconds. If you don't, I'm going right. Also, I'm planning on doing the Banjo-Kazooie crowd control stream on Saturday for April Fool's Day. Still planning on it. Alright. Let's see if right is right. It's looking pretty right. Ariados? Probably the best of the bunch. Hopefully. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I should have self-destructed, honestly. Calcium helps us play. I saw Kraken was playing, uh, what's it called? Pokemon, Pokemon, uh, who's the, what's it? The, the one where you, uh, the fusion one. I kind of want to try that. I think that'd be fun to do. I might try that maybe even tomorrow. Also, I'm supposed to schedule my Blood Bowl game. Hold on. Did somebody message me. They probably did. Uh, Oh yeah, Zar. Uh, Friday tonight. Work at. So probably playing Blood Bowl tonight, <laughs> and then maybe fusioning right after Blood Bowl. And by tonight, I mean like tomorrow night, Friday night. Um. All right, here we go. Thanks. Boop, 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 boop. The Blair Twitch with the 19 months. Thank you, the Blair Twitch. Do you want left, mid, or right? What? 79, 18, 19. Thank you very much for the 19 a months. Oh, God. <laughs> mid, you got it. My champ was right. Love disc was left. We get Flygon with Stab Dragon Breath. Yo, that's pretty good. Eight speed's pretty bad. This is Banjo Kazooie. <gasps> oh. Oh. We out. <laughs> Is Flygon allowed? Yeah. The nine speed is real bad, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I probably pivot just because of the speed. Roselia. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. Uh, all right, let's check over here real quick. Mankey. Surskit. Mankey. Surskit. Mankey. Surskit. Can't escape. Can't escape. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, let's go check the items up here. Aerodactyl. That coal miner with the two gifted subs. Thank you, that coal miner. You want left, mid, or right? Chops Gaming gets a sub. And Minusky. Thank you, that coal miner. Magneton. Nice voice. Hey, thanks. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Luckily, it's not using real attacks. Okay, that's good. Nice body. Hey, thanks. Did I ever tell you about that guy at Trader Joe's? years ago that I said he was like um I don't know what happened but I mentioned I did YouTube videos and then he was like I'll check out your channel and then he was like dude I fall asleep to your videos and I was like it's a little weird knowing that in real life but whatever I don't care <laughs> uh Whiskash I'm just gonna catch it and use it for speed I don't even know It's got 16 speed. All right, great. Well, I should probably buy more Pokeballs before I go up there. And... Like, it's not even like, it's not like a creepy, creepy thing. Like, yeah, he's just, you know, it probably was like ASMR. Yeah, I only really yell if something crazy happens or if like League of Legends is happening. That's usually about it. I just want to know what the third Pokemon in here is. <laughs> it's a muck! Oh, ho we could get that muck. You always know what muck spelled backwards is. Twitch Prime. That's right. What do we got in here? <laughs> Magneton might not be bad. Let's see what we got a level 8 of. There's still two Pokemon I haven't seen in this grass. There's one of them. <laughs> Great. I listen to ASMR every night when I go to bed. I listen to Ting Ting ASMR. Fantastic YouTube channel. <laughs> and I alternate between three of her ASMRs, and whenever I get insomnia while I'm listening to one of them, I alternate to a different ASMR to, like, change it up. <laughs> it's level six, a level eight. Agron? Screw it, I'll catch Agron. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Whoops. See how he is. He's got 38 special attack. Only 10 speed, 24 special effect. Okay. And he's got Aurora Beam Fire Punch. That's actually not bad. 
Because all the things that he's weak to are special defense, right? Is, it, is there anything I'm, like, weak to that's normal defense? Fighting? Uh, you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Oh, it's four times fighting? Oh, God. Oh, ground. Oh, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> These pivots suck. Oh, wait. Fire punch. We're dead. <laughs> Saw it coming. All right. All right. Ultra Ball. Alright. Uh, what did that coal miner want? Hold on. I gotta rewind here. Right, then left. Alright, you got it. Okay, right on. And we get Minoon. Minoon. We probably just outrage here, I think, with 17 special attack. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I think I just gotta keep doing it. Oh, my God. One more, please. One more. Yeah, let's go. Woo. Not bad. Kangaskhan in the grass, let's go! <laughs> I'm catching that Kangaskhan. Yeah, if it had more special moves, it would actually be pretty solid. But it doesn't. And there's a Kangaskhan. One of my favorite Pokemons. Nah, music's normal. Normal speed music. Just hoping for that level six Kangaskhan is what we're looking for here. Or level eight, ideally, but... That's not Kangaskhan. Level five. <laughs> Pokemon host, he's banging. The old banjo Pokemon Kazooie. Please, level six. Please level six. God, this Kangaskhan's gonna have like seven speed, dude. I guarantee it. Any second. You can sell it with mirror move. There it is. I don't even care. I just, I love Kangaskhan. I'm catching it. Boom. We got it. Let's see how it is. Here we go. It has 16 speed. Yo, it's got Sonic Boom. Oh my. Whoa. God, it's a glass cannon. It's an actual glass cannon. <laughs> oh boy. One hit and we're dead. But we got Sonic Boom and Crunch. So, I mean... Uh, we got a heal. There's a Charizard! <laughs> okay. Mmm! 
We're dead. That would have been neat to get. Uh, so now we go left. <laughs> Another blessed ultra ball run. Yeah, every time. We get... Shuckle! Oh, with a master ball! Okay. He's got a master ball on him, but he's also got, like, pretty good stats. Wait, Mega Punch is... Mega Punch. Are you kidding me? It's got... <laughs> it's got Leaf Blade? Maybe it's weaker to special? It's got Flash Fire! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh. Great. I would have died anyway, but that just really added insult to injury. Lava cookie. Yo, we're only 12 subs away from 10 jumping jacks. And if you want to subscribe with Twitch Prime, absolutely 100% free. Not available in all countries up for 820, $140 a year. You can get a free Pokeball selection. Wow, that's like pulling a lever on a slot machine. What a great deal. Um, let's see. What does the in-game dice say? It says left. What does the real-life dice say? It says right. <laughs> well, that's not good. We got contradiction, contradiction, contradicting opinions. Um, I'm going to psychoanalyze this. Okay. This one seems okay. I'm not feeling mid. Oh God, it's right or left, but it's pretty close. I'm picking up their psychic energies. <laughs> Something's just telling me right. Oh, Lapras! Whoa! I told you, dude! <laughs> oh, God, he's got 8 speed! He's got 20 attack. He's got Intimidate. It's not bad. Wait, 111 power? Oh, I didn't know that's how water spout works. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, we got out. <laughs> Morning sun. Cool. God, why is his... Why is his speed so bad? <laughs> And he's got garbage moves. <laughs> like, Rock Slide is the only good thing he's got. I'm gonna have to pivot off of him. This sucks. <laughs> Finish Banjo can see the feast the first time. How do you like it? I didn't go to the market. Oh my god. I was too busy talking about how slow he is. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, the quiz at the end's a little weird, but aside from that. His, his speed, or not his speed, his uh, defense is actually pretty good. It exploded again. Oh my God. Stop.
Actually, his HP is real low too, I just realized. The rules behind this are you can get the free XP, but you can't abuse it. So you can't just be like running back and forth like, wow, guys, I want to try to catch this weeping bell or the shit, but I'm just, ah, but like, you know, you just can't abuse it. Common sense rule, essentially. All right. Let's see what's over here. Slowpoke. Great Pokemon. Nidorain. It sucks. Good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Maybe there's some crazy items. Maybe like a Master Ball? No. No. Oh, Magmar! Okay, yo. He's got Stab Fire Blast? He's got fucking one point! <laughs> Are you fucking... <sighs> By the way, this Magmar was cracked out of his mind. Not only did he have a stab move, but he had enough special attack to counter my 30 special defense. Like, that's not low. His, his special attack must have been insane. I kind of want to... I want to retry that. I, gotta, I need to see what his stats are. <laughs> Please. I don't, I can't, this isn't even a legal run now. I just want to see your stats. <laughs> oh my God, okay. <laughs> I just want to see your stats. This guy's in, stop. Get in the ball. Dude, are you kidding me? Get in the ball. <laughs> but thank God. Okay, what did he have? He... Wow, he was actually insane. He was actually insane. Just good all-around Pokemon, and he had Poison Point. Man, that would have been neat if he got caught. <sighs> cool, <laughs> and with a stab move. My god. That Magmar was... Too good for this world, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you'd scratch. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna analyze these again. Mid, something's telling me mid this time. Well, lava, okay. With flash fire, okay. Let's. I guess water spout. Whoa! <gasps> oh god, wait. Okay, so if that did that, I think I'm still good with water spout. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Mirror coat. Cool. Awesome. Well. At least I can pivot. <laughs> Clay doll. Shuckle. Oh, Shuckle. We gotta get Shuckle. Nah, these runs definitely aren't RNG heavy. There's no way. This is all skill. Okay, good. No good Shuckles yet. Okay, level five. Looking for that six. Minimum, we need a six. Clay doll. Clay doll's not bad either, but no, nah, it's five. It's five. It's got mirror move and. 
Uh, you know what? I might check all the other spots first. Old man's catching Umbreon, classic. Just Quilava isn't actually that bad for like pivoting. It's got good stats, like defense and speed. Solid stats, at least. Okay. Pearl. That's an Arcanine? Okay, Arcanine learns no moves, but... But... If he's Karate Arcanine? Never mind, he sucks. He sucks. Get out of here. <laughs> Polyworld. Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Music's very fitting now. Fur it. Wait, Furret's 415? I actually didn't realize Furret's that high. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> oh my. Please. Thank God. <laughs> this Furret is actually kind of insane. What the shit? It speeds a little low. He has stab hyper beam. Yeah, the other Pokemon's gonna die, whatever. Yeah. And the ancient power. I need Pokeballs. Alright, now we can check this other grass though. Spoink. Starmie? Be good. Everybody's got a rain dance, apparently. Pidgeotto with stab air cutter. <laughs> yeah, I think we gotta we gotta pivot again. Maybe I go catch the shuckle now, to be honest. I guess we're just catching the shuckle. <laughs> guess we're just catching the shuckle. Thank you. Shuckle has one move. He's actually pretty good. He's actually pretty solid because he's got low special attack, but that's fine because Bug and Rock are both physical. We'll see what else. We'll see, we'll see if something else pops up in this grass, but otherwise... Oh, he's only got 19 HP, God. A lot of Murkrows. Faint attack. It's got stab faint attack. Okay. Stop. Conversion to <laughs> Swinub. All right, you know what? Maybe Starmie can be good. Maybe Starmie can be good. Not a level three one though. Six. I'd probably need a level eight. But apparently it's gonna be slow. Like I'm already outrunning it. Uh, oh God. <laughs> uh you know what? I'm just gonna run it. I don't even I don't even care. We're just running it. Believe in the dream. <laughs> oh, 
All we need is some big time iron pails. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> uh, that would have been good to use right away. <laughs> it did not save us. Hey, on the bright side, if I would have got Starmie, I would have died anyway to Volt Tackle. <laughs> so that makes me feel better. And Murkrow would have died to Volt Tackle too. Yeah. That was just cursed. Um. Dice says left. Unless someone subscribes right now, we're going left. Here we go, we're going left in five, four, three, two, one. Bleep. Wingo. Hey, he's got actually a pretty good move set. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Good. <laughs> dice says left. In game, dice says left. JJ Man with the two months team solo mid. Let's go. All right. Well, JJ Man says mid. We're going mid. One, two. Swing. Save the two months. The Lord was right. Bennett. But that's not bad. I've had a good Bennett run. But we miss out on the Lord. Here we go. Psycho boost. Oh boy. Uh Mega Kick. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe the Lord blessed us by being there. We have Runaway, that's not bad. <laughs> Survive first fight's all I gotta ask for, that's true. Iron helps us play. That's a Charizard! Okay. This run is truly blessed. We've got Charizard in the grass ready to go. Just gotta get a level six. Just gotta get a level six. Actually, I might as well use this Pokemon to go find items since I've run away. So I'll do that first. Okay, that's an interesting Flareon. Um, I guess the biggest issue is the defense is just 12 red defense. 
But we have Rock Slide and Slash as physical moves. It's a physical attacking Flareon though, so I'm kind of like, uh I don't know. Uh, if it had special attack instead of physical attack, is then if I get stabbed fire moves. I don't know. If I get a level six or eight Flareon or <laughs> Flareon Charizard. I could scout the Charizard moves. What's up here? Let's check real quick. That's a slow bro. That's a ferret. To find like a level three Charizard. Okay, so then we just use Trick. Synthesis. Silver Wind. Outrage. does seem like he sucks. <laughs> it does indeed seem like he sucks. All right, whatever. I'm going to run the Flareon. Okay. This will be fun. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> We're dead. Oh wait, I wanted to see, uh... I'm gonna go back and take the Lord. I needed to see what he was. <laughs> he was kinda ass. Dice says left. In game dice says right. Eldritch Purgatory Pokemon game is Kaizo Iron Mon. The most insane Pokemon game. It's essentially his Pokemon slot machine. I think it's right. 
A palm. Well, they all kind of suck. Silver win. Oh. 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 Ah, well, that was easy. <laughs> Nice the dive ball. Imagine if these moves run any other Pokemon. <laughs> Stupid blast toys. You're supposed to join the force, not destroy it. Don't panic with the Twitch Prime. Don't panic. Do you want left, mid, right? <laughs> you want left, mid, or right? <laughs> I know a lot of people subscribe. Oh, there it is. And then they have to like verify. No, you're good. All right. Mid. Looking good. Oh, Sizor. All right. That's pretty good. Although his speed and attack blow ass, so. And we can't use Earthquake. Oh, God. Well. All right. Never mind. <laughs> And that was your slot machine pull. Thank you for playing. <laughs> now you know the fun. Kaizo Iron Mod. <laughs> Remid? All right, well then we'll go mid again. Flareon? Oh God. Or Sola. 
Got okay moves. Oh? <laughs> All right, I got like one more in me. <laughs> then I gotta eat my food. I mean, I'm gonna eat it anyway, but. Gurvy. 500 bits, right is right. Thank you, Gurvy. You got it right. Is right. And we get Mewtwo. I guess technically right was right. Let's go Chansey. Chansey can beat Mewtwo. That's what I've always said. Stab, Crush Claw, and effective Shadow Punch? Isn't that... Oh, yeah. All right, Crush Claw. Is that... Oh, Defense Fell? He's erupting? We're dead. All right, we got... We're, we're, now, this one is right. We're going to go right for this one. That couldn't have been the last one of the night. This is the official last one now. I can't end on a legendary. Here we go. Kingdra was mid and we get... Oh, Magmar! With Stab Flame Wheel! And 20 speed! And Thick Fat! <laughs> and it's very not effective against Kingdra. Arrow Blast! Well, wait, wait, he went to sleep, <laughs> flame wheel, <laughs> arrow blast, we're on arrow blasts, <laughs> please, <laughs> please, <laughs> why, why did it have to be this? Out of all the things to fight. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> We're gonna do one more right. One more official right. This is it. There's no more unofficial, official, official, official yes. right. Seven seal Urso. Let's go mid for one more. Alright, you know what? There you go. We're going mid. I may have said right. We're going mid. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Swing! Over the 11 months through the power of Midiots, harnessing the power of Midiot energy, we get Spoink. Okay. It has Volt Absorb, just like us. We froze him? He's frozen? He's frozen? He's frozen? <laughs> He's frozen? He's frozen! <laughs> there it is! Spoink! <laughs> it's got to be a good pivot out there. Mm-mm. 
Folks, we found it. Of course. Yo, what the shit? This Lord's insane. All right. 25 attack, 20 defense, 16 special defense, 23 speed. He's got Sand Veil. the freeze cure berry all right that's definitely a sign we got to put that on here we go did i get anything else i can use spp up potion all right here we go lord time uh shadow punch good shadow punch good shadow punch beautiful yeah let's go uh shadow punch <laughs> Yeah! We don't have to heal. Roasted him. How many times you win in these 2k runs? Define winning. <gasps> Magdrutan! Oh! Bro. Oh god. Silver win. No! <laughs> Corsidad Leaf Blade. Corsidad's super effective stab Leaf Blade. Are you kidding me? Well. All right, in honor of the Lord, we do one more. Here we go. This is the official last one, though. Run number 2174. Mm -hmm. Let the dice decide. Keep getting stuck. Mid. Oh! Here we go. All right. Massive plays. And he's got Ice Heal, dude. It's a sign from the Lord of last game. All right. He's got pretty low speed. But I think... I think we just run it anyway. I mean... It's just good. Yeah, you can use Supersonic, but it's only 55 on the accuracy. I mean, uh... Unless there's something insane out there, you know what I mean? That I can pivot to, but right now, I mean, that's pretty good.
Nope, not good. Agron. Uh. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new here, click the follow button. Follow along. Be alerted when I go live. Click the bell to be super notified when I go live. Check all links below the stream. There's a bunch of links down there. Check out the Great War Western Front. Fun game. If you like history and RTS games, you'll love it. Click that link. Click the panel image. They sponsored the stream earlier. Thank you very much. Check it out there. Thanks everybody who subscribed. Resubscribe. Drop bits. Drop tips. Gifted subs. Thank you very much for all the support. And yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. Probably playing Blood Bowl. They seem like Blood Bowl is going to work for them tomorrow night. So I think we'll have Blood Bowl tomorrow night. I might check out Pokemon Fusion because watching Kraken play that too is making me want to play it. So if I can get it working, I'll do that. If not, I'll play more of this. <laughs> but that'd be fun to do. Uh, so either way, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you. <laughs>